Prayer for the 2022 National and Local Elections Let us pray that the forthcoming National and Local Elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Sunday Eucharistic celebration to the open heart of our Savior, the heart of Jesus that is open to our miseries, to our wounds, to our sinfulness. And so to prepare ourselves to encounter our merciful Lord in this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, who opens a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, who leads out chariots and horsemen, a powerful army. 
till they lie prostrate together, never to rise, snapped out and quenched like a weak. Remember not the events of the past, the things of long ago consider not. See, I am doing something new. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? In the desert, I make a way. In the wasteland, rivers. Wild beasts honor me, jackals and ostriches, for I put water in the desert and rivers in the wasteland for my chosen people to drink. The people whom I formed for myself, that they might announce my praise. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. brought back the captives to Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. They go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown. They shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have accepted the loss of all things, and I consider them so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him not having any righteousness of my own,
based on the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God, depending on faith to know Him, and the power of His resurrection, and the sharing of His sufferings by being conformed to His death, if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. It is not that I have already taken hold of it or have already attained perfect maturity, but I continue my pursuit in hope that I may possess it, since I have indeed been taken possession of by Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I for my part do not consider myself to have taken possession. Just one thing, forgetting what lies behind, but straining forward to what lies ahead, I continue my pursuit toward the goal, the prize of God's upward calling in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, but early in the morning, he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started coming to him. And he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? They said this to test him so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he bent down and wrote on the ground. And in response, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, when Pope Francis 
was asked to define what is mercy for him. <clears throat> Pope Francis said that the word mercy in Latin is misericordia. And this comes from two Latin words. Misery and cordia. Misery and heart. That is why for Pope Francis, he defines mercy as God's heart open to man's misery. Para kay Pope Francis, ang awa, ang ibig sabihin nito ay ang puso ng Diyos na bukas sa pagdurusa at sa kasalanan ng tao. And this is what Jesus showed in our gospel story today when the Pharisees presented to Jesus a woman caught in adultery, Jesus did not just see the sin of the woman. Jesus saw the misery of the woman. Ang puso ni Jesus ay katulad ng puso ng Diyos. Nang makita ni Jesus ang babaeng makasalanan, hindi lamang niya nakita ang kasalanan. Nakita rin niya ang pagdurusa ng babae dahil sa kasalanan. Kaya ang namuo sa puso ni Jesus ay hindi galit. Ang namuo sa puso ni Jesus ay awa. Sapagkat ang puso ng Diyos ay hindi lamang nakikita ang kasalanan, nakikita niya ang pagdurusa ng tao dahil sa kasalanan. The heart of Jesus was not filled with hate and anger. His heart was filled with mercy because he saw not just the sin of the woman, but the misery that is suffered by the woman caused by her sin. Yan ang awa ng Diyos. That is mercy. God's heart that is open to the misery of man. I remember when we were seminarians, we would usually visit orphanages. And in one orphanage that we have visited, one person, maybe he was in charge of one of the sections in that orphanage, he toured us around the orphanage. But we were surprised when the tour was almost over, he shared to us, he said, Brothers, would you want to know that I am myself a former orphan in this orphanage? So nagulat kami, no? Akala namin ay ordinaryong empleyado lamang siya. Nagulat kami nung huli, sabi niya sa amin, Father, dati rin ho akong kasama ng mga bata dito. And he told us his story. He said, 
I was also in the streets before. Batang kalye din ako dati. Wala na akong magulang. Pakalat-kalat lang ako sa kalye. At sabi niya, kapag nasa kalye ka, napakadali mong pagalitan ng mga tao. Kaiinisan ka, sisigawan ka, pagagalitan ka. Pero sabi niya, may dumating na isa galing sa orphanage. And this person brought me in this home. He showed me mercy. Unlike the other people who hate us, unlike the other people who would abuse us, unlike the other people who would manipulate us, who would use us, this person from the orphanage showed me mercy. In the face of sin, the person was able to see the misery of the orphan and showed them mercy. Sabi niya, yung ibang tao, susubukan na abusuhin ang mga street children. Yung ibang tao, mamanipulahin, gagamitin pa sila. Parang ginawa ng mga pariseyo sa Ebanghelyo doon sa makasalanang babae. Ginamit pa nila, inabuso pa nila, pinahirapan pa nila. Pero sabi noong tao sa amin, I was showed mercy. And then I came to this orphanage and he said, Now, I was able to study well. I finished college because of people who sponsored for our education. But he said, I decided to remain in the orphanage. It is now my turn to show mercy to other street children. Dati akong street child, sabi niya. Dati akong batang kalye. Nakapag-aral naman ako ng maayos. Nakapagpatapos na sa kolehiyo, Pero sabi niya, pinili kong maiwan dito. Kung paanong ipinakita sa akin ng awa, ngayon naman, ako naman ang magpapakita ng awa sa mga street children kagaya ko. Isn't that the miracle of Jesus? Isn't that a wonderful story of people who have received mercy and now is passing on the mercy of God to others? Isn't that a beautiful cycle Instead of the cycle of hate, of anger, we now start this cycle of sharing and giving mercy because we are able to see the misery of others. God's mercy is His heart open to the misery of people. And in our first reading today, from the book of the prophet Isaiah, God did not just see the misery of one person, but in our first reading today, God saw the sin and the misery caused by sin in the people of Israel. Sa unang pagbasa, nakita natin na hindi lamang kinaawaan ng Diyos ang isang tao, kundi naawa ang Diyos sa buong bayan ng Israel. Bakit? Sapagkat nagdurusa ang bayang Israel, 
dahil sa kanilang kasalanan. The mercy of God now turns to the people of Israel and God saw their misery because of the sinfulness of the nation. Naawa ang Diyos sa bayan sapagkat nagdurusa sila dahil sa kasalanan. Kasalanan ng kanilang mga pinuno, kasalanan ng kanilang mga sarili, kaya naawa ang Diyos sa kanila. Hindi agad nagalit ang Diyos na awa sapagkat nagdurusa sila. And so, God decided to lift them up out of Egypt, leading them to the desert and on to the promised land because God had mercy on them and saw their misery caused by sin. Mga minamahal na kapatid, kung ang Diyos na aawa sa bayan ng Israel, tayo kaya, marunong kaya tayong maawa sa bayan natin? Awang-awa na ang Diyos sa pagdurusa ng bayan. Alam niyo po, tuwing nakakarinig ako ng kwento ng isang tao mahirap at walang pera, pipila sa ospital ng ilang araw at minsan inaabutan na lang ng kamatayan sa pila habang ang iba bilyon-bilyon ang pera Hindi ka ba naaawa sa bayan? Baka ang Diyos awang-awa na sa atin. Tayo kaya naaawa ba tayo sa bayan? Huwag na ho nating dagdagan ang pagdurusa ng bayan. Maawa ho tayo sa bayan. Tingnan ang pagdurusa, lalo na ng mga nangangailangan, at ang pusong bukas sa pagdurusa ng kapwa ay ang pusong marunong maawa. Let us heed the call of St. Paul in our second reading today. St. Paul, who himself experienced the mercy of God, he said, I have accepted the loss of all things which before in my life, in my former life, I consider as a gain, now I consider as rubbish because I have gained Christ and I was found in Him. Sabi ni San Pablo, Ako rin ay kinaawaan ng Diyos. Kaya ngayon, ipapasa ko rin naman sa inyo ang awa ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Let us heed the call of St. Paul to open our hearts to the mercy of God. And when our hearts are open to the mercy of God, then our hearts will also be open to the misery of others. And we will be able to have mercy on people, to have mercy on our nation. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa linggo pong ito, tinatawag po ang ating mga sarili, buksan ang ating puso sa awa ng Diyos. 
At kapag ang ating puso ay naging bukas sa awa ng Diyos, magiging bukas ito para makita ang pagdurusa ng kapwa. At kapag nakita natin ang pagdurusa ng kapwa, magbibigay tayo ng awa. Let our hearts be like the heart of God, a heart that is open to misery. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In confident faith, let us pray to the Father, who, through the sufferings of His Son, has saved us from all condemnation. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That by a faithful observance of Lent, all Christians may know Christ and the power of His resurrection and share in His sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Lord Jesus may bring to repentance those in most need of His mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are discriminated against and victimized may receive through justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may reach the perfection that comes through faith in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Merciful Father, with contrite hearts, we offer our prayers, knowing that you will answer them, because we pray as members of the body of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now call on God 
as our merciful Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my, my roof, but, but only say, say the, word, the word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Isa lamang pong paalala para sa ating lahat sa darating po na linggo ay ipagdiriwang na po natin ang Palm Sunday. Tayo po'y papasok sa Holy Week, mga mahal na araw. At ang schedule po ng ating mga pagdiriwang ng banal na misa dito sa Manila Cathedral ay ang ating usual Sunday schedule, 8 a.m., 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Ang atin pong alas gis ng umaga na misa, 10 a.m. mass, ay pangungunahan ng ating minamakal na arsobispo, Cardinal Jose Advincula. At isa din lamang pong paalala sa lahat na sana po ay maaga tayong dumating sa mga misa sapagkat ang pagbabasbas ng mga palaspas ay ginagawa po sa simula ng pagdiriwang. Kaya sana po siguraduhin natin next Sunday na tayo po'y maagang dumating sa ating pagdiriwang ng mga banal na misa. At gayon din po ang lahat ng schedule natin ngayong Holy Week ay matatagpuan po ninyo sa ating mga social media pages ng Manila Cathedral. Kasama na po ang schedule ng mga kumpisal dito po sa ating katedral. Nawa ang ating pagdiriwang ng mga mahal na araw ay tunay ngang maging makahulugan at magpanibago ng ating isip at puso. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy and grant that what at your prompting they desire, they may receive by your generous gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.